everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm here reviewing today's trades. I think it's a good idea to go over what you're looking at each day and go back and say, could I have done better today or what could I have improved on today? And so we're going to take a look at today's gaps. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me and email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com and you can feel free to watch me on Fox Business Network and Fox News. And you can also call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So the first gap today that I looked at, actually I rated two things in the morning, GES and CSIQ, but I went to GES first. I really did like this gap a lot. It had a first drop, a short move in here. Unfortunately, it wasn't big. So here's what the stock did. Closed the night before 22, opened down here under 19, around 18 whatever. Fell dropped. I think the low was around 1830. Some people got out, but I really didn't think it was big enough of a move. And I wasn't being a pig about the uh, target. I really thought 18 was reasonable uh, for the drop in this today. It didn't work out. So this trade stopped. And again, at least I got off of it and realized, well, let's see what else there is out there today. But here's the one minute chart and we'll show you this. This looked great. Here's the drop. Again, shorted it in here, was up, looked perfect this is okay too even this in here looked very very good flatlined and then lifted and eventually stopped but i will tell you that the stock really didn't get bought today it just didn't have any more selling if i go back here and look at this i said well what occurred the market was very strong today and all the selling came into the gap and then it dropped in here in the first part and then that was it there was no more sellers so there was no way to get it down any further without more selling and shorting okay so but that's what I'm looking for but there wasn't any institutional buying so you wouldn't have gone long this again it had a profitable move but you had to get quick out and it really just didn't go to the target a lot of times uh, when I'm going through in the morning and I'm looking through things and I'm rating the gaps and I never do anything that I haven't taken the time to rate I will say okay does this deserve a retake in the case of GES it did not I still think it's a good idea though to give yourself several trades a day, meaning a minimum of two, possibly even four, maybe five, five is a lot. I think it's not enough to give yourself only one trade a day because you could take one trade and it could need a retake and you could come back on the day from the loss and be positive. Now that wasn't the case with GES and I looked at another stock which I'm gonna go over here next, but before you begin to trade, you should look at how many trades that you wanna allocate yourself per day. You, it's better to decide before you actually trade. Now, what does it have to do with? Size of your account and whether or not you're at a prop place, for example, they may have a cutoff point where they will cut you off in a set amount per day. I would divide the amount that you risk per uh, of the total of your day divided by how many trades you wanna take. Again, one isn't enough, two is good, four I think is ideal. So here was the second gap, CSIQ. What happened with this one here? Stock closed here, gap down. This rated good enough to short too. Didn't watch this out of the gate. This went high in here of the morning was 21.50. I didn't see where this closed, but it went down and dropped down to 19 something. Very nice move, sell off in here. This could even continue. This had a fast move out of the gate, but we were watching the GES. Anyways, this did have a later setup. So entry in this again later, not in the morning, was 19.58, then add in the 19.50. Stop 2010, again, first the 4,000 shares, then an ad with 4,000 shares, exit 1925, which was the first target. It did actually go past this. I didn't see where this closed today, but it did go past it in the afternoon. I don't think it's a good idea to be piggy with the target. So at 1925, boom, drop out. In this case here, good profit, turned it around 2,320 bucks. So again, you must rate the gap first. Wouldn't have done this if I hadn't rated it. You gotta rate the gap. If the gap rates 20 points or more, then you take it in the direction of the gap. And the 26 point rating system is what I teach in my Golden Gap course. So when you are looking to trade, again, you have to know how many trades you're gonna take per day because today's results then were positive. Even though the first trade failed, second trade was positive, took it around on the day. And when you have a start to a day, which that GS did where you're up and then it flips, you know, it can be frustrating. So you really sometimes got to take your time to look for something. CSIQ did have a second move. It may not have. 
because again, the market was bullish and that had a big drop in the morning, but it turned out it did have a good setup later on in the afternoon. So what do I teach in my class? I teach the Golden Gap course. I teach a checklist. It's 26 points, which I teach in my class. That's the meat and potatoes, the strategy of my system. And then that's the day one. Day two is all the entries. You would learn a play that I do called the stock swoosh and the targets. Like for example, the CSIQ target today was 1925, then 19. So the class that I teach is called the Golden Gap course, which I teach my method, how to rate the gaps, like I just discussed those two, and how to do the entries, where to put the stops. The class for March is this weekend, March 23rd and 24th, 9 to 5 Eastern time. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Class is online and you would sign up by Friday the 22nd. If you're interested, email me for registration papers. You cannot sign up from the website. You must email me to sign up. I'm looking forward to a very profitable earnings season starting in April and we will see what the future brings. Have a great night, everyone.